Hey, Kevin. It's racetrack time, Kevin. What's up guys today on the channel we're going to be going over prepping for the track for a drift day this is uh what we do maybe not everyone does this but this is what we have been doing for the last couple times so we're going to go through tools equipment fluids you might need and then go through checking the car one last time before we head out so i'm gonna pass it to chris and he's gonna go over checking uh torque specs and whatnot on the car thanks kev god that guy's nice isn't he so today we are just going over the car before we do a track day at US Air tomorrow. And real simple basic stuff. I already checked the fluids. I did an oil change because it had been a while. Um, you know, I just did some work on the radiator. So I took it for a nice drive, made sure it got hot, didn't overheat, worked the motor a little bit. So it, I'm not dealing with those issues on track. And luckily I didn't have those issues anyways. But uh, so next step I'm doing is just a nut and bolt check checking all the suspension and brakes, uh, just a couple of adjustable wrenches and BC coilover wrenches. Uh, stick them on the nuts, make sure they're tight. Uh, make sure none of them have moved. Um, one thing that I know I have overlooked, so you may have also, is the axle bolts. I've had a couple come loose on me before and that's kind of scary, you don't want those falling off. Um, so check those. Um, Another thing you can do, uh, buy a paint pen and just mark the nuts. That way you only got to visually look at them and as long as the paint hasn't moved, the nut hasn't moved. Simple. Um, I unfortunately don't do that. I probably should start doing that, but I know professional race teams do that. I'm just some guy with a car. And uh, so the other thing I'm going to do after I finish nut and bolting the front and the rear is I am going to just give it a quick eyeball alignment, make sure everything still looks straight, um, and throw some toe plates on it, and we should be good to go. And we'll load up the car later, and then we can go back to the future. Hey guys, so this is everything that I bring to the track. We're gonna walk you through it one piece by one piece. So up front here, all of this goes in this awesome little wheelie tool bin right here. So I got all my ratchets, I got breaker bar, big wrenches, couple of hammers, my coilover wrenches, uh, extra batteries for the impact and the drill, a couple of different pliers, some needle nose, uh, a couple of different screwdrivers, and then I got all my wrenches, a couple Allen wrenches, a few more random things I should probably go through, but uh, Next, we got this bin. I know, I know this one. This one's easy. <laughs> I haven't been on a drift day yet, but obviously, hammers, some more wrenches, Red Bull, and uh, what is that? I don't know. Anyway, pies. so start from the front. We got the ever so popular jack stands. Uh, you'll you'll be you'll be happy to know we do not use Harbor Freight jack stands here. Lifetime warranty though, if we did, <laughs> but I don't trust my life with them, so. And we got DeWalt Impact, never leave home without it. I couldn't imagine doing a track day without it. Uh, drill, more of emergency purposes. Uh, same with the blowtorch, emergency purposes. Here I got all my random nuts and bolts and washers, just in case. Uh, I happen to have a spare axle, so that's what that is. I have spare inner outer tie rods right there. I got, mine are almost toast, so I bought these the other day. They're uh, sway bar end links. Figured I'd throw them in. I got my toe plates and then a bunch of different fluids and cleaning stuff because I use an open trailer and it's dirty as hell when we get to the track. And you gotta look good when you're you going sideways. You have to look good. Last couple things, we got jack, basic. Gas, you don't wanna run out, you don't wanna go to the gas station halfway through your track day, it's pain. Helmet, very important. They won't let you on the track without it. And then, slightly, Optional, but I bring some air so I don't have to go find an air compressor halfway through the day and run around with my tires in my hands. It's annoying. Speaking of tires, over here. So, beautiful thing of bringing two cars, you can put shit in your other car 
We got some tires in the back of the G here. And then in the back of the F-150, we got our other tire collection. Uh, what did we just count? 16 tires total we're bringing? Uh, I believe so, yeah. Yeah, so hopefully we don't run out. A uh, couple of brand new Kendas, some used tires, some random tires from a pill head. We'll figure it out. <laughs> those are, <laughs> should use those first because I feel like they're not going to be great. Oh, I got my hopes up. <laughs> All right, well, we'll see you guys in the morning. set of tires just threw the kendas on had to air them up to 50 psi we'll see how that goes but so far having a blast so there's a broke down car on the track so i am taking a moment to vlog uh hopefully you all are enjoying the footage so far well, that would be great
right guys, finishing up the last hour here at US Air and did about 15, probably 20 laps with Chris riding along and ton of fun. Super violent, a lot faster than it looks when you're spectating, obviously. And just, yeah, hell of a lot of fun. So, Chris is over on the advanced course now. We're trying to finish the rest of uh, what he's got left of his tires, so let's go check that out.